this video, I'll show you how I made this dress using just nine bandanas. So I bought quite a few because I wasn't sure how many I was going to need or what kind of style I was going to do, so I had quite a few left over. But I'm taking my first piece and I'm just going to place it on the mannequin just so I can get an idea of how I want the dress to look. So I'm going to sew it together a bit like a caftan. So I'm going to sew up to this point. I think my bandanas are a bit long so I'm just going to trim these down a bit and just take a few inches off. So I'm just pinning where I'm going to trim. I did not see this juice box here, it's from my daughter. I'll just put that down there. So I'm using my first piece as a guide as to the size of the rest of them. So I'm cutting two pieces for the front and two pieces for the So now I'm happy with that, I'm going to sew my shoulder seams. So I'm taking two of the mandanas and sewing across the top of them, right sides together. So just pin in place and sew. I used a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So do the same with the other two pieces. So just off camera I've used my overlocker just to do a really small rolled hem all the way down the raw edge of the bandanas just to make them neat. So now put your pieces together, right sides together, line up the shoulder seams and we're going to sew the front. So I'm just measuring myself where I want the top to sit and then I'm sewing down from that line to the bottom. So I'm sewing from that point to the bottom hem. Then I'm going to use that stitch line as a guide to sew the back in the same way.
this is what we have so far. So now we're going to sew the armholes, making sure the pieces are right sides together. I'm just sewing a few inches up from the bottom. So I'm leaving about a 10 inch gap for the armhole. And then again, I'm using that stitch line to mirror on the other side. So that will be the top half finished. I just want to try it on the mannequin and just see if I'm happy with how it looks so far. I mean, it's quite oversized, but I do like that. You could always make your smaller at the start when you trim the bandanas. You could trim some more off if you wanted to make it a bit smaller. I thought the neckline was a little bit too low, so I'm just going to adjust that and sew a bit more up. I'm just going to add another inch or so. I think because it is going to be quite oversized, I don't want it to gape too much and reveal too much. So yeah, I'm just going to try it back on the mannequin. I'm much happy with that placement. And that's it from the back. This would look nice just at the top, wouldn't it? So my bandanas aren't all quite the same size as you can see, so I'm just going to trim them down so we've got a straight line. be easier to work with when I attach the skirt if it's a straight line. I'm attaching them too. So for the skirt I'm taking five bandanas and I'm going to sew them into a strip right sides together. So place one on top of the other, right sides together and sew. If I can work out which one's the right side. Now you can do as many rows as you want on your dress, you can make it into a maxi dress by adding two rows of bandanas, but I'm just going to do one row for now. So take your third bandana and place that one right sides together, and then sew, and so on and so forth. So now what you want to do is sew a gathering stitch, so set your machine to its longest stitch, mine was 5.0, and sew a line across the top of all the strips of fabric. So now you want to gather your skirts until it's the same size as the bottom hem of the top. If you wanted a fullered skirt, you could add more bandanas. So for the tube in half, 
and just measure it against the bottom of the top to make sure it's the same size. Then you want to spread out your gathers evenly. And once you're happy with the size of it, then you can sew your strip into a tube. So take the two edges and sew them right sides together to make the tube. So to attach the skirt to the top, pin them right sides together. Just making sure those gathers are still even. So once that's pinned, you just want to stow that in place. Again, I'm just making sure my gathers are even because they kept slipping around. And this is what it will look like. So you could leave it as this for a more of an oversized kind of caftan style dress. But I thought it'd be nice to maybe add some elastic to the waist, just give it a little bit more shape. This would be so nice to wear on the beach, wouldn't it? So I'm taking my elastic, just going to measure that against myself so I know how tight I want it to be. And then sew the ends of the elastic together using a zigzag stitch. Once you've done this, use a pen to mark four points on the elastic, so front and back on both sides. Use these marks that you've made to pin the elastic to the dress. I found it easier to turn the dress inside out, tuck the top into the skirt and then attach the elastic to the seam allowance. Using the marks you've drawn, attach the elastic to the waist, to the front, back and both sides.
beep 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 Attach the elastic across the seam. As you're sewing, hold on to the back piece and stretch out the front piece until it stretches the full width in between the needles. That makes sense. So you stretch it out to its full width and sew until you've sewn all four points. And that's the dress finished. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I think it's a really cute little summer dress. Really breezy and really baggy. I hope you liked this video. Let me know if you make one yourself. I'd love to see pictures of it. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more like this. Thank you.